Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Fine. I'll make an updated version, okay? You can stop spamming my comments now. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the installation process. So when you go into Steam here, you'll see there's the unturned page. And if you remember from a previous methods or even my previous video, we would normally just go into um, the local files of unturned. But they've patched that now. And what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and click store page right here, or just go to the store normally, and search out unturned in which you're going to see there's actually an application called Unturned Dedicated Server. This is going to be our new sort of base that we use to create our own server. So go ahead and press play now. This will prompt you with a sort of installation process and just go ahead and install the application and click finish. Now you're going to want to go ahead and just wait until this is done. Now once it's finished downloading, you'll actually see it doesn't appear normally in your library. and unless you search unturned. Now it's gonna appear right here. But if you're like me and you wanna actually have it here in your favorites or in a folder, you can actually just go ahead and click games and click and check the toolbox. Now this will allow tools and other DLCs and things to actually show up here. So now once we have the unturned dedicated server, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click the gear icon, manage, and browse local files. Now. This will bring up a whole list of files that are going to be useful to us during our server creation. Now if you notice, there's actually a folder called servers. You click into here, there's nothing here right now, which is the slight problem. So what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and run unturned. Not from the Steam page, not regular unturned. Double click right here on this little icon that says unturned and it will go ahead and run through its process and all that just to set up the server. Now, once you see this loading level all the way up to 100 and then it loads these two texts right here, you'll know that the server is up and running. So, since this is just a setup test, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and type in save, enter, and shut down. Do not ever click this X button up here or close it in any other way. Always close it and shut down, otherwise you will lose progress. Now, once you actually have done that, if you go back to the servers folder, there is now gonna be a folder called default. Now, if we, you can name this whatever you want, but I'm gonna leave it called. Now, you can name this folder whatever you want for conveniency, but I'm just gonna leave it as default. So if we go into default and go into server, there are gonna be a couple of things that are gonna be pretty important. For example, the commands notepad, which if you bring it up, will allow you to put in some basic commands that will actually help you throughout your creation, in which here are the simple things that you're gonna to wanna to need. You're gonna to wanna to put in a port, you're gonna to wanna to put in a map, you're gonna to wanna to put in perspective both, okay, this is my preference. You want to put cheats enabled just in case anything ever happens and then you're going to want to put in a name and in this case I'm going to call it server for vid. So if I just go ahead and put this in and hit control or command S and exit out this will then save our little commands sheet to this server. Now if we open up the admin list if you so wish, you can also put in your username or your Steam ID, that, that long num line of numbers, into here to admin yourself when you join the server. Once finished, go back to U3DS and go ahead and run Unturned again. This will now initialize the entire system, except it now has all that information in there. Once this is finished, we're going to want to go ahead and launch Unturned. Alright, so now that you're actually in Unturned, hit play and hit connect. Now, I already have this set up, but what you're going to want to do is put in the IP for your computer or the IP that is set for Hamachi, in which right after this, I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to use Hamachi. 
but you're gonna want to do that and also you're gonna want to put in the port that you set for your server if the port here is different to the port that I have which is under some scenarios go ahead and put this port into the commands.dat little file that we edited just now instead of 27015 but normally 27015 should work and unless you set a password in the commands.dat passwords are not needed so go ahead and hit connect now as you can see we have server for vid and all the information that are here that is here go ahead and hit join this will just go ahead and log you into the server and you are welcome to have fun and play now for an equally as important step which is if you would like to play with people who aren't connected to the same Wi-Fi as you how to do that you may ask well we're gonna use a beautiful software called Hamachi in which I will actually have it linked in the description below just go ahead and download that application once you've downloaded Hamachi and you've launched it you should be met with a little interface like this in which you're just gonna wanna go ahead and hit network hit create a new network and then go ahead and set up everything you want to do so your network ID is gonna be basically the name so in this case I'm just gonna call it Hedgy server. The password should be something that you only share with your friends and whoever you want to interact with. So in this case, I'm just going to set it as sub to Hedgy. Now, once you have created it, you'll see it right here. The Hedgy server. If this is if this little symbol here is gray, then you want to go ahead and press this which will be a power on and then it will go ahead and power up the server and this ID right here now there's going to be a number right here that should be two digits dot two digits dot two digits dot three digits is going to be the actual IP that you use for the server and that you use for unturned so that's going to be the IP that you go ahead and put into that little slot where it says to connect I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you guys liked my video, please hit me a thumbs up. Or if you disliked it, please let me know by hitting the thumbs down. Subscribe if you like my content. And I'll see you guys later. This is Hedge Tuning Out. Bye!